guys. Um, John Mac here. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, video on Remo.tv. A um, brand new site. Well, it's not brand new. It's been, it's a couple years old. But um, it's a website where you can control various people's robots over the internet for completely free. I've been playing around with this website for quite a few months now. And I've um, figured we should do a video on it. How do you guys like the new uh, chroma key background? Um, I think it looks good, but I'm just wanting your guys' opinion in the comments or something like that. But, um, see, only there's only so many online right now. Like, um, you got Byron, Retharn, Chicken Run, Nick Butt, whatever the hell. Review what's there. Some of them are laggy, like this one. Um, and this is supposed to be, this is basically a knockoff of this one. The COVID slapper. And you can just slap the, uh, well, COVID. It's supposed to be a cute thing. Oh, cool. Yeah, I thought that that was a marshmallow, but it's actually toilet paper. Or it's supposed to be. A little mini roll of toilet paper. That's kind of cute. Um, so, we got this one called Rathorn. It's been up for at least, I'd say, a month now. And it's really weird because you never know what this one is. This one is pretty much of a mystery. I don't <laughs> know exactly why it exists, but this is a mystery. You, you don't. If you ever make an account on this website, don't bother with this one. There's never anything on it. You can't do anything on it, so. This one is a new one. Its name is Clem. And it's basically a model train thing. You can control it. Now I'm going to turn down my volume because it's very loud. You can go like backward. I'm gonna stop doing fastest because apparently it's supposed it um is not supposed to go very fast because it will derail. You can also fly. There apparently is supposed to be a, a bot here as well, but I don't know what that is. Medium light, low light, smiley. Survivor lights don't be seeming to work right now, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, I've actually streamed to this website too as well. I'm John Cosmo on here. Um, and I, uh, I'll stream my vector or my, uh, Cosmo here. That's what I do on the site. I just stream Cosmo and these two. And you'll find me here. Vector's a work in progress though, because it's not meant to stream on this site. I've been trying to get it as workable as possible. This guy has five bots. This is a claw bot. This is just LEDs. And Clippy is a mystery. Um, basically just a non-moving bot that shows him and his self. And it's weird. And it sings and whatnot. And then you got these two. Adorio and Tenny, which are telebots. These little bots that look kind of like Roombas. But they're small and they have LEDs and whatnot. They're a kit that doesn't get sold anymore. And you can just go like this. And you can just screw with the lights. But the one I'm most interested in is this one. This is the very first bot I saw on the site. Um, I love this. It's just a virtual claw machine. So let's do a little bit of playing on that. Let's do a little bit of playing on the virtual claw machine. Because why not? I got something. By the, uh, by the booty. Yeah, I, um, that's how you guys been doing with the, uh, whole COVID thing and the epidemic and whatnot. Schools are closed. Quarantine is happening. We're all locked in our houses. Having a good old time. <laughs> um. And here's, the um, something I can get. Easy grab. Easy grab, man. <laughs> That's great. I love that. 
Um, let's just let's see if we can grab the creeper. Creep, bro. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's too uh, it's too buried. This guy's gonna get a new bot soon. He's got this um, crane bot that um he's bought. And I feel like that'd be a great one. And I'll tell him. He wants the link. I'm recording now. And there's the link. Yeah. Some bots have text to speech. This is. I think this is by far the best text to speech voice on all of the bots. The Google API one. Sounds like my Google Home over there. Um. And. Uh. But some bots just use, is it Speakify? Speakonia? Some weird voice that I don't particularly enjoy too much because it's very, it's, it has a very weird accent and whatnot. This guy also has a Cure COVID-19 bot, which is based off of Folding at Home. If you didn't know, Folding at Home is a, it's this project where you donate um, CPU cycles and like your computer's uh, power. To, uh, unfolding the a cure for the coronavirus. Um, and I, I think that's a great way of using it. And it just gives you a task to undo. And, uh, this guy has it so you can control it. Like this. Spain! <laughs> no. Alright, um, that's view one. View two. View three. View four. I'm gonna go back to view one. And it just spins. And it's got this over here. I don't know if we're actually controlling the folding, or if we, we could just view it with that. I'm not sure how that works. So, I'm gonna just keep going on this claw here. Yeah, this this, this uh, very nice lady named Jill made this whole, uh, this whole website is run by a lady named Jill. Um... And it used to be letsrobot.tv, but that got shut down and replaced with this. And I'm just gonna say, I think Let's Robot had a lot more bots, but, and just most people didn't migrate over to the new platform. Oh, and I loosened up the uh, shark here. I'm gonna go for that next. Yeah. Sometimes you'll get the uh, occasional uh, jerk on here who just spams the buttons and doesn't let anybody else play but other than that this is a nice website I I find it nice that it even works on mobile which is nice now granted it works a lot better if you have a keyboard but it does in fact work on mobile I'm probably gonna try and grab a Bluetooth keyboard later see if I can hook that up to my phone and see if that'll work with Remo um yeah so if you guys want to check this out for yourself I'll leave a link in the description um and uh if you go on the claw machine or any other bot for that matter tell the owner John Mac sent ya <laughs> uh, alright yeah yeah, I thought this this claw was just the most amazing thing in the world. And now I just play it for fun. It's really nice. Um There we go. I got the creeper. By the head. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. This this is impressive, man. I um it takes a lot of bandwidth. Like and, like, sometimes you'll leave your robot sitting there, and it'll take a little while before somebody comes on and starts controlling it. And from a streamer standpoint, it's pretty nice. Most, most of the, uh, robots, not this one, but, like, all the robots that are, like, actual robots, not claws. Like, the, for example, the Telebots. They all run off a of Raspberry Pi. And then they attach a webcam and a battery and some motors and they control it with a, um, the included files. That's how it works. Um, my, me, on the other hand, I run the controller off of the machine I'm using to record this video. Just a normal Windows machi machine like I normally would. Because it's easier and I prefer it. 
You go like that. Hmm. 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 Monkey. So, okay, so basically, I am Mankey. Mm. <laughs> this one, I, you can never win this one. As I say it, I win it, but normally it gets stuck over the prize chute. Alright, I can't be recording for too long, man. Let me know how you guys like this. Go on, make an account, tell them John Max sent you. Just don't be a jerk, please. What? Alright. I can just keep going. Alright. That was pretty easy. And I just stabbed the shark like an idiot. I only know one other call like this, to be fully honest with you, and it's um it's on Twitch. Not Remo. Um, and it's actually, in my opinion, it's a lot harder to play. Because you got to put the commands in chat. So if you guys want me to play that, let me know. And I'll go on there instead. You got the white shark and whatnot. I think this is best. I've watched your channel a couple times. Go subscribe to uh I've watched the guy that runs the claw. A couple times. Go subscribe to the guy that uh runs the claw. YouTube.com slash subbase one hundred. I'll leave it in the description as well. Nice you have some cool content. Yeah, this Thanks. should be uploaded in no time. I got nothing to do. I figured this would be a nice, relaxing video to do, since I haven't posted in a while. Um, so, let's see if we can get the, um... I like this, because it's a claw machine I can play for free, and I don't have to have money. The only other online claw machines I know of cost money, so... This hedgehog is too friggin' big! <laughs> it's too big. Um... I needs a new top camera for his claw. This one freezes all the time. The one on the bottom right uh, always ends up freezing and he has to come down and fix it. And it's really annoying for him, I'd guess. By two prongs! <laughs> by two... By two prongs! Not porns. Prongs. By two prongs. <laughs> Balls. Yeah. We got like 500 people that all love this claw. And I'm not surprised either. It's like a really good one. I, I think this is my favorite robot on the site. I like this one the absolute most. And she got people that'll use it and whatnot, but I think people hopped off or they're watching because I can see five people online. Users. Sushi's away from K. Okay, hold on a second. Coming. I'm back. Anyway, let's continue. Before somebody comes on and hogs my place. I'm sorry if I seem like a claw hog, but... <laughs> I, uh, have to, um, have that working. Alright. Go like this. There you go. I got the dolphin. Whew, that was a close one. I'm gonna drop my jar on the floor. That would have been bad. Would've been bad. Why can't I not grab this bear? Didn't I just win that cat yesterday? Or like literally less than an hour ago? Something like that? I swear I did. <laughs> Unless there's more than one. 
I'm gonna tell you right now that cube poking ball you see in the very front of the claw is almost impossible to win. It's huge. And the claw is not made for it. <laughs> like, you gotta perfectly dead center grab it. And it's gotta be, like, in the middle of the claw for it to be winnable. Yeah, I don't know where this guy get. I think the guy that runs this, um, gets all his toys from old toys that his kids don't want, because he has kids. So, and then, you also got, some of the toys are old ones that his kids didn't want, and some of the others are, um, the claw's got a wish list on Amazon, and that's the other way you can get toys for it. And you can put them on the wish list, and you can order them off there. I should probably throw these in the trash. All right, let's see, will that work? No, that did not. All right. All right, so I think I'm gonna have to stop the video portion for this claw here because now somebody else is playing and I'm gonna let them have their turn. So let's see if we can find anybody else to, uh, we can show you, because we haven't shown you every bot that's online yet. This is the LED bot. You can play music and whatnot, but I'm not going to because, um, again, you could go like, turn it down, you can make different colors, and you could play music. So I'm going to let that music play, and I'm going to go because otherwise I'm going to get copyrighted for whatever the hell the music is. Wait, no, I did this bot first. What am I doing, an idiot? Am I? Michael's Lab. This guy has a bunch of ESP32 cameras. I don't think you any of you know what that means. But it's a little circuit board with the cameras just stuck to the middle. You've got a bunch of robots with those. They're little cheap, low-quality cameras you can buy off God knows where. She's got two bots with the with a lot of them. And I'm assuming this is the other one. This one doesn't got sound. Wee! Ah! Oh, wait. Hey, look, there's the other one. Yep, there they are. Mimo and Mamo. Or Mamo and Mamo 2. 2.0. Yeah. That's your lot. Um, so. Uh, let's look for another one. Nickbot. This should be interesting. This guy's 3D printing something. Sometimes they'll have actual bots on here. This is just a 3D print cam. It says he's printing protective masks. But last I checked, protective masks aren't squares. But what do I know? You do you. Browse. Um, what else do we got? Chicken run. Hmm, pretty much just a camera. Overhead, a box of chickens. Can't move this one. But during nighttime, there's lighting. And you can see the temperature. 53 degrees, not too bad. It's nice out like it is out here. Um, only Brezel. This guy's got cats. I think this is the first time I've ever seen one actually on the stream. I've actually seen one there. I'm gonna crank up the LEDs. Wake up. Wake up, cat. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> like <a>, that. Ah. <laughs> this one don't got sound either. Um, but you know, it's cats just sleeping over there. <laughs> All right. I think that's the last of them, actually. Yeah, Fabian's not online, and normally he has a radio bot, 
but I think he's got legal issues with that or something, like, because there's copyright music and whatnot. My favorite thing to do is turn all the lights off on this, and then, wait for it, you go like this. You just send, like, pulses through. You just, like, race them. I like doing that, because it's funny. Or you could just do this and be an idiot. Whee! No. Um, yeah, Jill's normally online with her bots. She's got, like... There may be like one, two, three, four, five, six, like twelve bots here, but all I know is that Dusty works, B works, and I don't know who Bitsy is. Must be the they must have renamed General. All I've ever seen is B and General online. Occasionally they'll have Dusty at night. Other than that, that's really all. So, I'm going to end the video on Remo here. Be sure to go check out Remo. It's a great site. Um, uh, be sure to go uh, on some of the bots. Tell them John Mac sent you. And we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.